Hey friends, welcome back to the Chanel. Just rapidly finishing up getting ready per usual, but you guys asked and I am here to deliver. We are finally going back to Miniso, baby. Miniso so kindly invited me back to the store again. I'm going to the same one that I always go to, the one in Irvine Spectrum Shopping Center. They said that they now have a Barbie collection that came out, so that is gonna be like the first thing I'm trying to hunt down. If you haven't heard of Miniso before, it's essentially like an Asian variety store that's super affordable. Like most of their items are under $10. And Miniso has so kindly gifted me $150 of shopping credit. So we are going to town. I'm so excited. And this time my sister is coming along with me. This is going to be her first time seeing the Miniso store. So it's going to be so much fun. All right, now I'm just going to finish getting dressed. I'm definitely going to wear pink to go on the Barbie theme. And I will see you guys there. So we made it to Miniso and the storefront is gorgeous as always. And right when we entered, we were greeted by the Barbie display front and center. The pink Malibu Barbie theme was getting me so excited to see what kind of items were in the collection. Right in front were these bright pink Barbie wallets. I think this color combo was my favorite. And below the wallets were what I think are some notebooks or notepads, but the design was so adorable. So we definitely knew we were gonna get a couple of items from this collection, so we immediately got to work and started grabbing anything that caught our attention. They also had some Barbie makeup bags in different shapes, pink eyelash curlers and razors, satin scrunchies and hair accessories. The variety of items was super impressive. Also, this fluffy ice cream cone keychain was iconic. They also had some cute packs of pins and I thought my younger self would have been shooketh by this hairbrush. It was so mesmerizing to watch all the glitter fall. And of course, they had some adorable socks and I really loved these 3D Barbie stickers and they had some nail stickers as well. And this Barbie display was definitely feeding into my early 2000s childhood nostalgia. Now I got my Barbie items, I quickly want to show you around the rest of the store because I noticed there are so many new items since the last time I visited. But of course I wanted to show her Miniso's famous wall of plushies. I said it before and I'll say it again, their plushies are the softest and squishiest in the game. There's something so satisfying about squeezing them and I especially loved the Sanrio ones. And speaking of Sanrio, this Miniso has no chill babes. They were stocked on the most glorious Sanrio items. Sister and I were just having the best time looking through everything. I don't think we've seen this much Sanrio in one place since our Japan trip earlier this year. Here are just some of the items that I didn't see the last time. I feel like they're always stepping up their game and making better products. Um, also, excuse me, ma'am, they had baby Sanrio plushy keychains and they all had little binkies. <laughs> I also fell in love with these Sanrio cups. They had so many different kinds. I wasn't sure where the straw was for this one, but sister figured it out. That actually had us wheezing for some reason, but they also had the most precious Sanrio bento boxes. Also, I keep telling you all to never sleep on Miniso's scent section, okay? If you're not sniffing up every single tester in the store like me, you're doing it wrong. They have diffusers, candles, air fresheners, there's something for everybody. And alerting all my crafty girls out there, the stationary items here are adorable. I picked up some items for myself and don't worry, there's of course a haul at the end. Lastly, to wrap up the shopping trip, I had to pick up some final beauty items. They always have the cutest packaging for skincare and makeup products, like Sister found a Pikachu blush and Kuromi Macaroon lip balm. I thought these Gudetama makeup brushes were so funny, and they had some makeup pouches with Sanrio characters in cat ears. So we had a super successful shopping trip, my basket was filled to the brim, and we are ready to check out. Everything came out to $147 and some change, so just under the $150 budget. Thank you again, Miniso! 
all right hey friends welcome back so y'all know the drill by now we are going to be getting into the haul i'm going to be showing you guys all the items that i got on this mini so trip and i know i say this in like every mini so haul but i really think that this is like the best haul i've done but i think i just think that every time because mini so is constantly putting out such good stuff like they're always putting out things that i didn't see the last time so i'm really excited for this haul let's just jump into it so if you haven't noticed i'm continuing the pink theme i also have some pink makeup on but i don't know if you can see from that far away i just thought it'd be kind of cute to continue on the theme because as you guys will be seeing i have a lot of pink items because i got a lot of barbie and sanrio items but first i think i want to show you guys all the things that i got from the barbie collection and of course i have my massive receipt so i can share the prices of all the items with you guys so first from the barbie collection i got two different types of razors i don't know what it is about like practical items and cute packaging that really gets to me the first one i got here is your typical standard razor i think it even says that it has five different different blades so you could get a nice clean shave. The Barbie design on this is just super nostalgic and it's an item that I could use every day and this was $5.99. And then this next pack of razors that I got, three of these smaller shaped eyebrow razors. Also, I just love the small little detail that every single razor is a different shade of pink. So cute. I love these smaller razors to shape my eyebrows. I also really like using them just to shave the peach fuzz off of my face. It also helps to exfoliate and get that layer of dry skin off. It makes your makeup application so so smooth and this pack of Barbie razors was $4.99 and if you guys know me you know of course that I just really love tissue packs they're portable you could pop them in your purse bring them on the go and how can you pass up this adorable pink Barbie packaging the design of this one is so cute it has some palm trees a Barbie van some rollerblades also it says that this is scented so I want to open it up and take a sniff this smells like peaches that is so fun i cannot wait to blow my nose with these bad boys also this is just such a good deal because it comes with a pack of 12 of these tissue packs and this was only 4.99 for the entire package okay and the last item that i got from the barbie collection i am so excited for because it is a barbie facial massager i think they're called gua sha I might be totally wrong, I'm so sorry. But it's just one of those stones that you use to kind of massage and sculpt your face. It's in this beautiful baby pink shade. It looks like rose quartz. And of course it has the iconic Barbie logo on it. I've never owned one before, so I'm really excited to try it out. I've been meaning to tone my face for a long time now, so I could not leave the store without this. And this one here was $12.99. All right, and is it even a mini so haul without some Sanrio items? <laughs> so as you guys know, I visited the store with my sister and that was her first time there and she was just like mind blown. So I'm gonna show you all of her items. She said that I could share these with you guys first for the video and then of course I'll hand these back to her. So the first item she picked out, I cannot breathe. <sighs> okay, let me collect myself, you guys. It is in my Melody Popsicle mold. Is this not the cutest summer essential you have ever seen? The little handles for the Popsicle mold are my Melody's head, iconic, but this is the perfect size for a Popsicle mold in my opinion. And this is also BPA free. I hope my sister has a blast with this. This was $6.99. And next, my sister picked out another My Melody item. This is adorable. It is a three pack of these My Melody plastic containers. And this is also BPA free. I love the pink plastic lid and the design itself is so cute. It says my melody here. It has little flowers and butterflies and mushrooms. And this pack of plastic containers was $5.99. So the next item my sister picked out is from the cream shop. It is a Korean beauty brand and all their products are made in Korea. And this is a pack of Hello Kitty pimple patches stop <laughs> and actually in my last mini so haul you guys saw that i got the bt21 pimple patches from the cream shop and these are such good quality like i put them on before i go to bed and i wake up and they're still on they do not come off it's paraben free sulfate free and cruelty free and it comes with a pack of 21 and this was 9.99 okay and the next item both me and my sister picked out we're gonna be matching and it is this hello kitty microfiber drying hair towel i actually already have a drying cap like this i got it in my very first mini so haul that I ever did and I still use it to this day. This kind of like microfiber material is a lot gentler on your hair and they are so good at absorbing the excess water in your hair so it actually helps your hair to dry a lot faster. I also have a wavy hair texture so these are great to kind of retain the curls. They also had a cinnamon roll design in baby blue but I don't know me and my sister are both in our Hello Kitty era right now. And each one of these hair towels were $7.99. Alright and next y'all know that I'm just obsessed with scents. I like smelling good. 
I like my room to smell good. I like candles, diffusers, all of that. So Miniso has an amazing variety of scented products and they're all Sanrio. So I was having a field day. I got three different kinds of scented products and they all smell insanely good. I am so excited about them. Okay, so first I feel like I need to give you a warning because it's cuteness overload. All right, feast your eyes. This is an air freshener with scented beads in the shape of cinnamon roll's head. I kid you not, I actually gasped in the store when I saw these. They had the tester in the store. I took one sniff, immediately added it to my basket. I cannot wait to open this baby up, place it on my shelf somewhere. It's just gonna look so cute. I'm so excited about this one. And this product was $5.99. And next is another cinnamon roll scented product. And I just wanna take a moment to appreciate the adorable packaging. There's a little cinnamon roll and a baby cinnamon roll with a binky riding a gosh darned unicorn. Miniso just can't give me a break. Like why does everything make me wanna faint because of how cute it is? It's essentially the scented little packets. I know people who like to put in their closet to keep their clothes smelling nice and fresh. And personally, the way that I like to use these is to place them under my car seats so my car smells nice and fresh. And you guys, this smells like watermelon, <laughs> but kind of in this like sophisticated, luxurious watermelon way. Like, I don't know how to describe this. Like, I don't know. You just wouldn't think that this is a Sanrio product. This smells very high end to me. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I might just have to go back to Miniso and get the other scents as well, because each of these packets are only $4.99. And my last scented product is, of course, a diffuser. You guys know that I love Miniso's diffusers. This is my first ever Sanrio diffuser. This one is Hello Kitty. It is this gorgeous Hello Kitty design with these Sakura cherry blossoms. It even has this cute little pink pom-pom. I smelled the tester in the store and was just so impressed. It's such a beautiful floral scent. Like, this literally smells like walking through the farmer's market with all the flowers. And you guys, this was only $4.99. Okay, and next I had to keep up the tradition of buying a pair of Sanrio socks. This time I only got one. It is this baby pink and lilac Kuromi design. You guys know I have a lot of pairs of Sanrio mini so socks. They're the regular ankle cut, but this one was so cool because it's a crew sock. This one goes up a little longer. So with these, you could actually show off the adorable Sanrio design, or these would be perfect for my longer boots. I am simply obsessed with these, and I think these are only $3.99. So y'all know that I have an absolute love affair with mini so Sanrio blind boxes. If that sounds like something you like, check out my YouTube shorts if you want to watch me unbox like 10 of them. <laughs> but I was so excited to find this. I've never seen it in the store before. This is like a stationary blind box and it is in this adorable little bunny bubble tea design. Actually, in one of my other mini sew hauls, I got this little bubble tea design in a notebook. So to match the notebook, I wanted to get some stationary items to go with it. And it says that this package comes with one gel pen, one washi tape, and one pack of sticky notes. So I'm super excited to to open this up on camera with you guys because I have no idea what the design looks like, but just from the packaging alone, I can tell it's gonna be adorable. And this blind box was $3.99. And of course, I hit up the beauty section in mini, so it is so good. They have so many cute like Sanrio beauty items. First, I got this super cute pack of cinnamon roll Q-tips. This pack comes with 240 Q-tips, and as you can see, there's three different colors, and they all are different shapes. This was only $3.99. Then I got some fun Sanrio skincare items. Firstly, I got another product from the cream shop. It is a Kuromi sheet mask and it is in roses and romance. It seems like the main ingredients in here are Bulgarian rose and collagen. So definitely good for firming and calming the skin. So I am ready to have a nice luxurious self-care day with Kuromi on my face. And each of the sheet masks are $4.99. And then I also had to pick up some under eye masks. This is also from the cream shop, but it is in this good Gudetama design. Y'all know that Gudetama is like my spirit animal. I just love this little lazy egg. And the fact that he's on these little eye patches is just so funny to me for some reason. I cannot wait to use these. And these were $4.99. And last but not least, I saved arguably the coolest item I think I found. It is also the most expensive item that I got on this haul. It is this mini so exclusive pair of Hello Kitty wireless headphones.
They had these same headphones in a couple different designs with some other Sanrio characters. And I was really choosing between this one and the Kuromi pair because that one was in this really cute lilac color. But like I said, I don't know what it is. Just right now, I'm really in my Hello Kitty era. And this comes in like the cutest shade of baby pink. And the case itself is just adorable. It kind of reminded me of a macaroon. <laughs> this is probably one of the coolest finds that I've ever found from Miniso. But like I said, this was the most expensive item that I got on the whole trip. Trip. This one was $30.99. All right, we are finally done. We got through all of the items. It took me like an hour to film everything. And as always, comment down below which item that you guys like the best. It's always really fun for me to go through the comments and see which item really caught your eye. And also quickly before I leave, I just quickly wanted to thank you guys so much for the response that I got in my last vlog. Typically my vlogs don't perform as well as these kind of like shopping videos on my channel, but the feedback and the response that I got from you guys in the last video just warmed my heart so much like I could cry but I just got such an outpour of love I felt like I just had to say a huge huge thank you so yeah you guys are just the absolute best and I love the community that we've created here on YouTube and we are so close to 80,000 subscribers if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so it really helps out this channel and helps me get more opportunities to do bigger projects which essentially just means better content that I could put out for you guys so please please consider doing so. Okay, I'm so sorry. This outro is getting really, really long. So I'll leave it there. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.